the population of Ireland is growing and getting older every year. As a result, more and more cases of cancer are being diagnosed and treated. Every year too, the treatments for cancer are getting better and the chances of being cured from cancer continue to increase. All of this means that the Irish Blood Transfusion Service increases the service it provides for people with cancer every year. We collect more red cell transfusions for people who need surgery for cancer and, very importantly, we need to collect extra platelet donations to support the increasing need and further improve the treatment of cancer patients. Human blood has three different types of cells uh, in it. The red cells, which are the ones that give it its colour, are the ones that carry oxygen to the body from the um, lungs. The white cells are the cells that uh, fight infection. And the platelets are the smallest cells in the blood, and they're the ones that create the clots. So if you need your blood to clot, you need to have platelets. There are more patients with cancer getting more intensive treatment all the time. It's estimated that the number of patients with cancer in general in the country will double probably over the next 12 to 15 years. So the simple fact that we need more, uh, we have more patients receiving more intensive treatment means we need more platelets in general. The type of cancer I had was osteosarcoma. It's a form of bone cancer and I had a tumour in my leg and in order to get rid of it I had to have chemotherapy and the chemotherapy affected my blood and my whole system so the platelets was one of the things that was needed in order for me to keep going with my treatment. I used to give blood and I got to see, I suppose, my mother when she was in uh, St. Luke's getting chemotherapy. I'd seen the leaflets, I'd seen where the platelets went and that was probably what made me be a platelet donor. I got some information on the platelet donation and it just seemed like a more important thing to do, I guess, because from speaking to the people, there's so little people who actually give platelets that I thought, well, I still could, I might as well. I've given blood for so long that I just wanted to, you know, do something different and I'd heard about bone marrow and platelets and said I'd try and give this a little go. It's quite simple, a uh, single needle uh, with a couple of tubes out of it, one for taking the blood out, one for giving the blood back, and it's basically just a relaxing process. You sit back for an hour and uh, read a paper, watch a movie, and uh, the time just ticks by pretty easily. It's painless. I have never had any side effects from it at all since I started, and the staff here couldn't be nicer. I mean, they couldn't make it easier for you. You're relaxing. I mean, it's, you come in and, you know, it's a a couple of hours off work as well in the morning so it's always an excuse like to get away for a little while. And they're very good because you get a text message the day before just reminding you and often enough you'll get a phone call to make sure that it's alright. If you're based in Dublin and you can't make it out here they always ring to see if you need transport they'll call you a taxi and they'll call you a taxi afterwards to bring you back to work or back to home. Platelet donations take place at the National Blood Centre, James Street, Dublin 8, and the Munster Regional Transfusion Centre at St Finbar's Hospital in Cork. When a donor attends their donation appointment, they are first given a detailed health and lifestyle questionnaire to complete. This is followed by a short screening, after which they are ready to donate. An average donation takes between 45 and 70 minutes, depending on the donor. Once the donation is complete, the donor has something to eat and drink in the canteen before resuming normal activities. The platelets are collected in the apheresis clinic and then delivered to a holding agitator on the day of collection. So the following morning now we get them into the components laboratory where we um, log them onto the computer system, tell it what products we're going to make from each particular donation. They're then product labelled, replaced onto the agitator. Uh, later on, when all results have been posted, uh, they're then taken to be group labelled and eventually delivered to the hospital services department for eventual issue to the hospitals. Getting the platelets by apheresis is better than getting the uh, platelets from whole blood for a couple of reasons. Uh, the main reason is that when we get the platelets from whole blood, we have to take them from a number of donors to get enough platelets to support one patient. Uh, with apheresis, we get the platelets from one donor. Uh, it's safer in general terms to be giving a product to a patient from one single donor than from multiple donors. That's the first thing. The second thing is we can match the platelets with the patient. So you can't do that when you've got multiple donations from whole blood in one pool of platelets. But when you have a single donor pool of platelets, such as you get from an apheresis, then you're able to match the patient and the donor immunologically, and that reduces the risk of immune reactions to the infused platelets and it also probably gives you in many cases a better increase in the platelet count. 
Yeah, the Irish Cancer Society is the national charity for cancer care in Ireland and we're very anxious that people would consider becoming platelet donors. So platelets are a very, very important part of treating people with cancer so that they can be cured and go on and live a normal life. It's a fantastic thing. I mean, the people out there suffering from cancer and leukaemia and, and young children, it's just a thing that needs to be done and it's, you know, maybe we just need to make people more aware of it. I do have family and close friends who have suffered from leukaemia and who have been in major trauma accidents and have needed them. And it's something that I guess it's, it's about creating more awareness. I mean, I'm, a, I'm on a major campaign in working everywhere else to make people come along. It's important because I understand very directly where the platelets go, that there is somebody very real at the far end, in some cases actually waiting for your platelet donation and it's obviously helping them to get over some sort of trauma on their side. The people considering platelet donation, I just say to go for it. Like it's really important to people who are having treatment or who need the platelets and you, no one realises before they've been put in the situation how vital they are. So just go for it. <laughs>